The greater palatine nerve block is a terrific block and an absolutely essential one if you're going to be taking out teeth. The reason is because palatal injections are uncomfortable. No matter how attentive you are to your technique and how gentle you are with your patients, you're always going to be causing them some discomfort when you're doing these palatal injections. So the goal when we're taking out the tooth is to keep our patient comfortable and a way to do that is to do the minimal amount of injections on the palate to get profound anesthesia. So the way to do this is to do the greater palatine nerve block, which is going to knock out the greater palatine nerve, which normally provides innervation right from that third molar up to the first premolar and the midline of the palate. All that soft tissue is innervated by this single nerve. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over the technique with you. It's super simple. Once you practice it a few times, go for it. And even if you're maybe not going to be going for it right away, just try with your patients. Just try palpating with the cotton swab just to kind of have a feel to see where that might be, even if you're going to stick with your regular palatal infiltrations for the time being. Once you get comfortable finding this, you're going to be good to go. So the way that we find this is we use our alveolar bone and the junction of that with our hard palate. We're going to place our cotton swab right at the junction. We're going to then push and slide posteriorly until we drop into this little concavity. You will physically feel that happen in the mouth. The location of this is typically between our second and third molars. Third molars aren't always there in our patients, so that's why we might start interproximally maybe at the first and second molar and then slide posteriorly until we feel that little dip. Now, the injection itself will happen after we dry the tissues. We place our swab here for two minutes with topical anesthetic and we're going to be applying pressure to blanch the tissues. The pressure will be continued throughout this injection to try to keep it more comfortable for the patient. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this down now, and I'm going to show you, so we'll pretend that's still in place and I'm still pushing. We're going to pick up our syringe. Now our syringe will have a 27 or 25 gauge short needle on it. We are going to be inserting perpendicular to this junction, so about 45 degrees, to this injection site, we want to have our bevel toward the bone. We're going to be inserting this needle with our atraumatic technique, which is basically placing the bevel against the surface of the tissues, bowing that needle a little bit or putting pressure on the needle and then uprighting until that bevel just pokes through the tissues and we'll be injecting a little bit of anesthetic as we do that. That allows that initial penetration to feel a little better for the patient. When we do this, we want to have a saliva ejector squarely on the palate behind this area to soak up any of that anesthetic that happens to leak away and it will leak away as we're doing this injection as we initially penetrate the tissues. So we've approached at 90 degrees so basically perpendicular to that junction. We are inserting, we are contacting bone and this is in that area that's been blanched by our cotton swab. Once we contact bone we are then going to aspirate if it's negative, we're going to go ahead and deposit about 0.6 mils of anesthetic into this region. When we do that, we're going to then back away for about five minutes. We're going to come back and we're going to be amazed that we've now just numbed all the gingiva right up to this first premolar with a single injection. This is going to be one of your favorite injections once you learn how to master it and learn how to do it comfortably for your patients.